Today's game is coming to you live from M&T Bank Stadium in Baltimore. It's time now for the Baltimore Cleveland rivalry to continue and what beauties we've seen in the past. <laughs> These Browns and Ravens are always going to be out there to prove something to the other team. Let's see how it plays out today as we get set for the kickoff. Looks like he's just about ready to kick this one off. That one is out of the end zone. The Ravens will start to drive from the 20 yard line. Well, John, it's the Browns and the Ravens, one of the newer rivalries in the league, but a bitter one already. Yeah, but I don't think the rivalry exists so much First between the Browns and the Ravens the as it does between the Browns fans and the Ravens. The Browns come out in a 4-3. Hands it off to the back. Watson comes up to make the play at the 24-yard line. It's important to pound the defense with a run. Sooner or later, they're going to bend. Second and six. Ball on the 24-yard line. Cleveland comes out in a 4-3. Branch, the man in motion. Crosses it out to the right. Sharp step on. Watson is there for the tackle at the 33-yard line. Peterson fighting for yardage that time. He's able to reel off a nice game. Ball on their own 33. Ball on the 33 yard line. Come on. Watch the man. The Browns with a four man front. Here we go. Check it. Let's go, boys. They'll bring the blitz. It's rid of it. Right on target to the wide receiver. Rush was on, but it's a nice game thanks to a nice throw by Dotson. He read the blitz and he got rid of the ball very quickly. This is the kind of guy you love to have behind center. The kind of guy that won't get rattled when he feels a big rush coming. Second, and, Second and less Ball than a yard. 43 yard line. Deuce it, deuce it. Get me going. Hot Cleveland hot. using three linebackers. With the pass, and it's complete. Watson comes up to make the play. Seems like all they have to do is just throw it near this guy, and he finds a way to come down with it. Yeah, I was talking to the coach this week, and he told me that he's probably got the best hands in the team. And right there, he just showed us why. Ball on the 50-yard line. Watch the back! Don't stop, don't stop that motor. Cleveland comes baby. out in a 4-3. Don't make a play! You got it, uh -huh. uh -huh. Closing in with the throw. Almost picked off. The Morris has the coverage on the play. When the intended receiver on the play. Second and ten. Ball on the 50-yard line. Do something, do something. Keep moving. Cleveland lines up in a 4-3. Great fade. Throwing. Caught out of bounds. They like to throw it to the sidelines in situations like that. His throw was just a little off. Win was the intended receiver on that play. Third and ten. Ball on the 50-yard line. Clear! Clear! The Browns come out with one linebacker and several defensive backs. It's rid of it. Jumps up. He has it. John, he'll be well short of the first down. Now here's the thing. The defense had all the guys covered who were beyond the market. So it was up to the short man to make something happen after the catch, and he just couldn't do it. McBriar will come in now to punt it away. Harrison looks like he's ready for the return. He signals for a fair catch. First, First and ten. ten. Ball on the 14-yard line. Tucks it away. 
strong move. Duncan is there for the tackle at the 21-yard line. Santiago runs it through the middle again of about six. Second and three. Ball on the 21-yard line. Baltimore comes out in the quarter defense. Gets rid of it. Leap to the wide receiver. He recognizes the blitz and gets the ball out for a first down. Yeah, he saw a good matchup. And he made a heck of a throw to get the ball to his receiver. First and ten. Ball on the 30-yard line. Hey, watch that screen! Thomas moves in motion. Watch the man. It off to the back. You can hear the collision up here. When you run the ball in the first half, you're trying to keep the defense on. But if you're only getting gains like that in the second half, then it puts more pressure on your passing game. Second and seven coming up here. From the gun, dropping back, gets rid of it. This one falls incomplete. Price was his intended target. Third and seven. Ball on the 32-yard line. Only one man back. Rolling right. Dragged down from behind. When you play man-to-man -to -man that well, it limits a quarterback's option to play, and it'll result in a sack sometime. So as we get set for the punt, let's take a look at our returner's stats. Wynn is back to receive this kick. Fair catch called for. Fair catch made at the 34-yard line. The so they have first and ten the here at the 34-yard line. First and ten. Come on. Cleveland lines up in a 4-3. is there on the stop at the 39-yard line. Peterson with a nice burst through the middle that time. Five-yard pickup. Second and five. Ball on the 39-yard line. Nothing. They don't get nothing. The Browns line up in a 4-3. Pressure throws this one off balance. They'll spot this one at the 48. It was not in a very good throwing position, but it didn't matter. These guys always seem to do a good job of bailing him out when he needs it. First it's and first ten. and ten. Ball on the 48-yard line. The Browns come out in a 4-3. Uh -huh. Under pressure with the pass. Caught by the fullback on the left side. Number 47 is there for the tackle. And the 46. Ball on their own 46. Ball on the 46 yard line. The Browns line up in a 4 3. Shaw is there on the stop. At the 41-yard line. Peterson, Not what they were looking for in that play call. Yeah, the back just couldn't decide where he wanted to go with it. He hesitated just a little. By the time he decided where he wanted to go with it, the defense was all over him. Ball on their own 41. Ball on the 41-yard line. Peterson, the lone setback. With the pass. Incomplete. Great effort up front to put the pressure on. And you see that kind of thing out of these guys a lot. They're big and they're strong and they're fast. Opposing offensive lines sure have their hands full when they get out in this field.
Carson lines up deep for the punt return. From the 23. 35 yard punt. Return to a gain of two yards. First and ten. Ball on the 26 yard line. Keep it up. Keep the throttle down. Let's go. Let's go. Thomas, the man in motion. You turn it up. Hey, watch Going to the air on first down. Gets rid of it. Incomplete pass. Houston was the one they were trying to get the ball to. Second and ten. Ball on the 26 yard line. The Ravens come out of the nickel package. With the pass, he couldn't control it. He is the injured player on the field. He'll be coming out for this next place. So we'll find out what the story is. Third and ten. Ball on the 26 yard line. Not today. The Ravens come out of the nickel pack. Gets the pass off. Incomplete. Number 27 teed off on him and it forced the ball out before he could make the reception. Yeah, and he's either going to get in there and knock the ball out or he's going to knock someone else out. Salam is ready to punt this one away. Win sets up, waiting for the punt. From the 35 yard line. Win with some good yardage on that return back to the 46. Ball on their own 46. Cleveland lines up in a 4 3. Give it to the halfback. Strickland is there on the stop at the 47. One thing these guys don't want to do is give up in a running game. Because if they do that, they become one dimensional. And that plays right into the defense's hands. It's second down and nine to go. Defense, get ready. The Browns come out in a 4 3. Cross play to the left. Redmond comes up to make the play at the 41 yard line. The running back finds his way into the open field and picks up the first down. And what happened was they missed him with the blitz. And when they did that, there were no linebackers to converge. And that's how he got by the first down mark. Cleveland lines up in a 4 3. They'll blow this play dead because there appears to have been early Number 86. Dawson was flagged for the false start. False starts are kind of frustrating because they're really easily avoided by just maintaining focus. So after the penalty, it's now first and 15. They come out in a dime package. Pressure coming. Gets rid of it. Ooh, nearly picked off. They were in his own defense in perfect position to make the play, but they let it get away. Second and 15. Ball on the 46 yard line. Throws to the end zone. Incomplete as the defender knocks it away. This is a team that likes to take shots downfield when they see an opportunity. Passing downfield will open up the running game and passing routes underneath, even if you don't complete the pass. Schmidt was the intended receiver on that play. So we're now about the earlier injury. We're being told that he has been examined and it is felt that he should not return to play in this game. Dropping back. Go, baby, rock and roll. Fires go, this go. one deep. 
caught. Redmond is there for the tackle at the 11. On third and long, the defense is playing pass all the way. They just can't come up with a stop. Watch it here. The quarterback looks and fires one, and the defense is left to wonder how they let him off the hook. forward for what appears to be a two-yard pickup. Right. They're eight it's yards seven. from the end zone. On the eight yard line. The Browns come out in a 4-3. Drops back with the throw. He's got it. I tell you, the quarterback and receiver look like they've been working on that route for a long time, and it paid off there. comes in to attempt the point after. The extra point attempt is good. Big players make big plays, and that scores touchdowns. Give some credit to the linemen out there. They're the biggest guys in the field, and without them, no one gets into the end zone. This one is taken by Harrison. You Harrison know that the offense has their eyes set on tying this thing up here on this drive. We'll have to see what they're able to put together. They'll take over at the 20 yard line. First and 10. Yeah, you see me. Come on. Baltimore with six defensive backs. Gets rid of it. This one goes to the fullback on the right side. Good play right there. The defenders forced him to make a move, but it would get him nowhere. And a pickup of about two. We've reached the end of the first quarter, and the score is 7 0. Ravens. The Browns. And we're ready to start the second quarter. Second and eight coming up here. The Browns come out in the bunch for me. Throwing. Nearly intercepted. He was in the right place at the right time, and that saved them from giving up a lot of yardage. Third and eight. Ball on the 22-yard line. Baltimore comes out in their nickel package. Fakes the throw. Throws it. Almost intercepted. Number 52 had his hands on it. I think he was invisible out there. Wasn't even seen. And that's a break for the offense. Win will go back to accept this punt. From the 43. Win returns this one to the 47. First and 10. First and 10. Everything you got. The Browns with a four-man front. A little misdirection. Watson is there on the stop with at the 41. A tough running game will make your passing attack even more effective. Right. 
second and four. Ball on the 41-yard line. Cleveland goes with a four-man front. Number 51 comes up to make the play at the 42-yard line. Nothing doing that time, John, as the linebacker gets there quickly. He's one of those guys who's a sure tackle. He'll move up and play physically at the line, come on a blitz, and play the run just about as well as anyone on the defense. Cleveland comes out in a 4-3. Closing in. Gets rid of it. And he makes the grab. Redmond is there on the stop at the 31. Dotson fires complete, and it's good for a first down. Yeah, he excels on third down. Some quarterbacks just do. First it's and first ten. and 10. Ball on the 31-yard line. Hey, watch the screen. The Browns with a four-man front. Watson comes up to make the play at the 30. The defense held their positions and didn't let him get very far. Ball on the 30-yard line. Ball on the 30-yard line. Cleveland goes with a four-man front. Here they come. Throws it. It's broken up. He's got great recovery speed. He can catch up to the ball even if he's caught out of position. That time he was right there in the secondary to tip the ball away. Win was his intended target. Third and nine. Ball on the 30 yard line. No stop. No stop. That motor. Tampa. Cleveland comes out in their nickel pack. Let's go. With the throw. Gets his hand on it. Just shot at the end zone. Doesn't work. Fourth down now. Josh Brown is in the try what should be about a 47-yard field goal. The veteran kicks it through. He's one of those guys who really works hard at what he does. And you can see that hard work paying off when you make a kick like this one. Kick downfield. This one is handled by Harrison. He forced a three and out on the offense's last possession. First Ball on their own 20. Ball on the 20 yard line. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Santiago lines up behind his fullback in the eye with the pass. Jumping and has it. He's a tough guy. And he'll go for those passes wherever they are. Ball on their own 25. Ball on the 25 yard line. From the start, from the start. Keep the throttle down. Pressure gets rid of it. Gets his hand on it. Davis was there on the cover. Davis on the cover. Third and five. Ball on the 25-yard line. They line up in the I formation. Go, go, go. Thomas in motion. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Hey, let's go. Drops back. With the pass. Drops the intercept. That was a good play. Turn bad play. Good because their zone defense worked well. Bad because he dropped the interception. That's one he wishes he could have back. Salam comes into the game for the punt. Wynn is the deep return man. And he signals for the fair catch. 
Fair catch made at the 36 yard line. First Ball on their own 36. Ball on the 36 yard line. They ain't got nothing. Hold the look. They'll go from the I formation. It off. Number 51 comes up to make the play at the 39. Now they got to keep going at it. They can get that defense tired and on its heels, these games will get longer and bigger as the game goes on. Second and six. Ball of the 39 yard line. Let's go. This side, this side. The Browns come out of a nickel package. Hand it off to the back. Play action. With the throw, he jumps and he has it. Peterson takes him down. Marshall makes a very difficult catch to secure the first down. When you go up like that, coming down with it is usually not much fun, especially when you got guys nearby who are waiting to put a lick on you. Ball at about midfield. Peterson, the long back, and it off. Shaw comes up to make the play at the 49-yard line. They might not be busting off big games, but those linemen are really working hard down there. Second and nine. Ball on the 49-yard line. The Browns, with a four-man front, steps up. Under pressure, trying to avoid the hit by sliding feet first. Looking to convert on third down, they have to get it to the 42. Dotson out of the gun. Gets the handoff on the delay. Now that's a stiff one. He just unloaded on him. This is tough running here. Let's watch him as he gets through right here. And he breaks a tackle and keeps moving forward. I tell you, this guy's hard to bring down. is there for the tackle at the 27. This offense having no trouble moving the ball on this drive. Yeah, and this defense is having a lot of trouble stopping them. They can't seem to key on what they're doing and put an end to this drive. Ball on the 27-yard line. Cleveland comes out in a 4-3 on the ground. Number 47 is there on the stop. And that game will get them a fresh set of downs. It was a great run. He saw his blockers create some room for him, and he accelerated right through the hole. First, First and ten. ten. Ball on the 16-yard line. Let's go. Yeah, you see me. Cleveland lines up in a 4-3. He'll pass on the first down with the pass. Written out at the one yard line. They have the defense off balance. Another first down. You know, this defense has tried everything man coverage, the blitz, the zones. They really mixed up their defenses and their coverages. This offense has taken advantage of them all. It's first and goal at the one. Peterson in the backfield. Can he get there? Touchdown. Now here's a case where you let your big guards and tackles and center do all the dirty work, and you just follow them in and get the touchdown. Comes in for the extra point. The point after is good. And with that right there, they've now scored 17 unanswered points. They just can't seem to stop them.
McBride is just about ready to kick this one away. Harrison, good distance. This one is fielded by Harrison. The Browns need to rebound quickly as they start this drive at the 20. The Browns Almost at the two-minute mark the now. At the 20 yard line. First and 10. Get it up! Baltimore comes out with seven in the second uh, half. Pressure coming. Down he goes. He does a nice job using leverage to get after the quarterback. When you combine that with his quick first step, you really have something special. Two minutes left in the quarter. Ball on the 14 yard line. Santiago, the deep man. Gets rid of it. It's going the other way. The defender was all over that one. The offense gets ready to go following the interception. Only one man back. Dotson with a man in motion. It's a blitz. Rowing. Lawrence is the guy who's there to bring him down at the 13-yard line. So the whole field was able to stand back there and find the open man. You know, when the defense is sending extra rushers at the quarterback, it takes a lot of poise to get the ball out of there with any accuracy. First, First and 10. Ball on the 13 yard line. Let's turn it up, D. No the Lance Red Zone trip resulted in a touchdown. The back breaks free. Touchdown, Baltimore. Peterson runs it into the end zone for the second time. comes in to attempt the point after. The, the point the after is good. Another drive leads to another score, and they're really clicking now. This is going to be a very long day for this defense. They're trying everything out there, but they can't seem to slow these guys down. The offense has a lot of work to do. Maybe it's going to be up to the defense to make some adjustment and find a way to slow this offensive unit down. McBride looks like he's just about ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing. This one is taken by Harrison. The Browns face an uphill battle as they begin this drive at the 20-yard line. They'll take over at the 20-yard line. First and 10. Play hard and fast, baby. Riggs sends down. a man in motion. Fires this one deep. It's broken up. The quarterback did a great job at getting some air under that pass. Hitting his guy right in the hand. It just looked like he might have lost a little focus as he tried to bring that pass in. Wesley goes in motion. They'll bring the blitz with the pass. Wilcox is there for the tackle at the 31. Here's a no huddle. It's a good way to keep the defense off balance. It's a blitz with the throw. And he dropped it. And there's not one wide receiver who can ever claim he's never dropped a pass. It's just part of the game.
second and ten. Ball on the 31 yard line. Let's go. Baltimore comes out in their nickel package. It's rid of it. Almost picked off. Price was the one they were trying to get the ball to. And with the coverage. It's third and long now, and the defense can afford to back off and play it soft. And here's what they've been able to do so far on third down. The Ravens come out in a dime package. Throws it. The wide receiver has it. And he's ridden out at the 43-yard line. Now, this is one heck of a play. Look at it. You're in a hole here on third down. And they come through with this perfect play that gets them a first and keeps the drive going. An effective two-minute drill will give them the opportunity to put some points on the board before the half. All right, now. Keep it up. We turn it up. You got to have it, D. Let's run, man. Gets rid of it. Ooh, nearly picked off. Number 27 had the coverage on the play. Hey, I'm sure they're going to keep on passing so they can get in range for some much needed points. Second and 10. Ball on the 43 yard line. Don't make a play. Blitz is coming. Closing in. Looking long down the right side of the field. I think the quarterback just let that one get away. Was the intended receiver on that play. Third and long, the defense trying to bring this drive to a halt. Eighth play of this drive. Ball on the 43-yard line. Give a pressure on, man! Riggs will work out of the shotgun. Keep the throttle down. Throws it. Nearly intercepted. He's lucky he hasn't been intercepted on this drive. Yeah, but luck eventually runs out. If you're throwing the ball right at defenders like he's been doing, you're bound to come up with one. Salam will come in now to punt it away. Win back to return. He's waving for the fair catch. Fair catch made at the 19-yard line. They have two choices here. They can get a little greedy and try to drive for some more points, or they can just play it safe and go with a few running plays. Right. First and ten. Start the drive at the 19-yard line. First and ten. The Browns come out in a 4-3. Pull back handoff. This one will be spotted at the 27-yard line. He wraps up the ball carrier. His tackle total is now four. Ball on their own 27. Ball on the 27-yard line. Everything you got. From the gun. Three shoot. Throwing. The wide receiver has it. Nice ball going to the air, and that'll move the chain. First and ten. Ball on the 42 yard line. Cleveland comes out in a 4 3. That's the end of the second quarter with the score. The Ravens ahead of the Browns. 24-0. We're ready to begin the third quarter of play. McBride in to kick this one off. Harrison back to return.
He got all of it. The Browns have their work cut out for them as they take over at the 20. The Ravens were very hot at the outset, John, a fact that's reflected on the scoreboard. Yeah, they sure turned it up a few notches. Coming in, I thought it was going to be more of a battle. It just hasn't turned out that way. Peterson returns to the game after being shaken up earlier. Santiago is the deep back. Ring sends a man in motion. With the pass. Incomplete. Good push by the defensive line, forcing the incomplete pass. He hung in there, but he didn't really have the time that he needed to make the play. The quarterback has to know who his outlet guy is and get the ball to him when he feels that pressure coming. Riggs didn't exactly put on a passing clinic in that first half, and this graphic will spotlight his problem areas. Santiago, the lone setback. With the throw. Right on target to the wide receiver. He put something extra on that throw, and that'll keep the chains moving. Yeah, he can really fire it in there when he needs to. First so they have first and ten here. Ball on the 32-yard line. Everything you've got. The Ravens come out in a nickel package. You gotta believe it. It's our day. Pass play here on first down. Gets rid of it. And it's caught. Wesley is there for the tackle. At the 37, Riggs completes that one, and it goes for about four yards. Ball on their own 37. Ball on the 37 yard line. Here I go. Here they come. Pressure. It's free. The Browns are there to pick up the ball. They got that one back. They're looking now at third and long after the set. They'll go for the shotgun. Thomas moves in motion. Going deep. What a catch. Wesley is there on the stop at the 36. Watch it here. This is a great call on third down to keep this drive alive. They were in a tough spot here. But this is a heck of a throw and catch to pick up that first down. Sends a man in motion. Little misdirection. Kendall is there for the tackle. This team's always trying to get a good mix of run and pass plays. Second and seven. Ball on the 32-yard line. Let's go. Be physical. Get it on. Drops back. With the throw, he hits his receiver. Right. right. Didn't have much room to do anything with that one. Yeah, they had the coverage, and they made the sure play instead of trying something fancy, like going for the pick. Third On third down, they need to get it to the 26 to convert. This team has to start converting on third down if they're going to be successful. Riggs won't get the ball away and goes down hard. They've now registered four sacks and they have completely dominated that offensive line. One of those guys who really works hard at what he does and you can see that hard work paying off when you make a kick like this one
The kick sails out of the end zone. The most important thing to do now is to protect the football. You got a good lead, and you don't want to throw it away by making any costly mistakes. First and ten. Ball on the 20 yard line. Hey, let's go one deep. You turn it up. This up, this up. Cleveland doesn't appear to have enough speed on the field to match up against these five wideouts. Number 47 Wait, is there for the tackle at the 28-yard line. The screen could really be an effective play. It's a high percentage pass designed to allow the receiver to create his opportunities. Second and two. Ball on the 28-yard line. Go low! Go low! You gotta believe it! The Browns line up in a 4-3. Here we go. Hey! Watch the ball! Tap it! Let us get that. Go with the draw. Can't wrap him. They'll spot this one at First the 32. Down, he makes his fifth stop of the game on that play. So after that run, we can see how the two main threats on the ground have fared so far. First and ten. Ball on the 32-yard line. Cleveland comes out in their nickel package. Danny, Danny, Danny. Going to the air on first down. Gets rid of it. He hits his receiver. Peterson is there on the stop at the 42. It's usually a good call to throw it in his direction, John. Yeah, he's got some of the best hands in the league. He'll catch just about anything he can get to. I think he's most effective when they really need to catch. Third down, things like that. That's when he really shines out there. Cleveland goes with a four-man front. Dotson with a man in motion. Pass play here on first down. Gets rid of it. He couldn't find a receiver, so he threw it where no one could get it. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 42-yard line. One of us will make a play. Let's do our thing. Let's do our thing. Cleveland using three linebackers. Keep the throttle down. Hand off to the tailback. Spins away from the tackle. Swan Peterson comes up to make the, the play at the 47. The Peterson picks up some tough yards there. Here's a look at the third down success rate of each team. The defense has had difficulty stopping them on third down. With the pass. You know, as a receiver, you have to be aware of so many things. Where the first down marker is, where the defenders are, and where the sideline is as you stretch out to make that catch. Marshall was his intended target. McBriar is ready to pump this one away. Harrison into return. Fair catch. First so they ten. have first and ten Ball here. On the 20 yard line. They'll go from the I formation. Thomas goes in motion. Go make the play. Play hard and fast, baby. Hands it off to the back. This one will be spotted at the 22. And that's now three tackles for him in this game. Second and eight. Ball on the 22-yard line. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Santiago, the lone setback. What an impact. Riggs gets dropped for a sack. Great day for this defense. Five sacks and counting. After the sack, they'll be looking at third and long here. Here we go, baby. The Ravens come out with one linebacker and several defensive backs. Almost intercepted. Good defense and three and out series are a way to keep your defense fresh and resting. Yeah. 
Salah comes into the game for the punt. Win sets up to run back the punt. And he chooses not to return this one. Fair catch made at the 47 yard line. They'll so we have first and ten here. First and ten. Don't stop, don't stop that motor. Silver, 28. Ten. Keep moving. Check it. Hand it off to the back. Watson comes up to make the play at the 49-yard line. He was looking for a place to run, but all those places were filled up with guys waiting to tackle him. Gain of three. Ball on their own 49. Ball on the 49-yard line. Let's go, let's go. The backfield is empty, and they'll go with five receivers. This pass is incomplete. He barely got that one off. Yeah, it wasn't a sack. What it did was make the quarterback adjust his throw, and it messed up his rhythm. Third and eight. Ball on the 49-yard line. Big play now, big play. The Browns come out in a nickel pack. Throwing. And he hits his target. Number 47 is there for this tackle at the 28 yard line. So they pick up a first down and a lot more. Good call there. It's first and 10. He'll pass on first down. Under pressure. Great effort that time, John. He's clearly one of the best in the league. Yeah, he's one of those guys who's been playing for a while now. And let me tell you, he might never be better than he is right now. Second and 15. Ball on the 33 yard line. Blue day, blue day. Cleveland comes out in their nickel package. Throws it. In and out of his hands. Pretty good play call on that one. Everything happened just as it's drawn up. Just couldn't hang on to it. Third and 15. Ball on the 33 yard line. The offense has been stepping it up on third down all day. He's going for it all. Incomplete. John, he rushed that throw. And you should credit the defensive line. They do a nice job tying up the blockers and to bring pressure up the middle. When you combine their play with the fact that the defensive coordinator likes to bring additional blitzers from the outside, it can make for a very long day for the quarterback. Brown will have to get a lot of leg into this one. He got a little... Not every drive is going to get you a touchdown. So getting three was big. Now they got to go over what worked and what didn't. So the next drive, we'll get him a TD. McBride will be kicking off. Harrison back deep. And he got all of that one, a great kick. This one is taken by Harrison. He's pulling down. Flags are down, and this one appears to be on the offense. Holding on the receiving team, number 54. A team has to show discipline and execute properly out there. If they don't, they'll find it's much harder to overcome the other team and get a win. The Browns will start the drive at the 22-yard line. First and 10. Hey, let's go. Driving back to pass on first down. Pressure coming. Looking for something long. He's there for the catch. Kendall is there for this tackle at the 11-yard line. Almost a touchdown on that great pass by Riggs. You know what he does? He tells his receiver, you just keep running. Because as long as they're still on the field, they're still in range because of his big time arm. On the team, team. All on us, y'all. 
Here we are in the third quarter, and this is the first time they've been inside the 20-yard line. Big tackle there for Lawson. Great pursuit there, John. You can say that again. He knows how to prepare, and it really pays off when you make stops like that. 11 yards to the end zone. Here's go, baby. Hand it off. Hahn is there on the stop at the two-yard line. Nine-yard game. They need two yards to get it into the end zone. Santiago, the deep back. Riggs with a man in motion. With the counter play. Davis comes up to make the play. At the one. Now let's have a look at what our runners have done up to this point. So at the end of the third quarter, the score is 27 to 3. Ravens. The Browns. The Browns have good field position as we begin the fourth quarter and need to capitalize fast. Fourth down and less than a yard. Looking for the corner. Stopped inside the five on fourth down. Down by this much here in the fourth, they had no choice but to go for it. Well, they're at the point of the game where they have to try something. Heck, next time maybe you try something else, but you can understand why they want to go for it here. But they first and ten. Start the drive at the five yard line. First and ten. Watch it. Only one man back. Hand off to the tailback. Shaw is there on the stop at the 10 yard line. Peterson finds some room after taking the handoff, and it looks like about a five yard pickup. Cleveland lines up in a 4 3. Looked like movement up front. Here's the referee's call. Picked off. It's intercepted. Number 55. He jumped early. First the defense has to watch it on plays like that. When you touch the opposing player, the whistle blows and they assess a penalty. There's no chance for a defensive player to try to reset. Cleveland goes with a four-man front. Throws it. Short completion to the wide receiver on the right side. Watson comes up to make the play at the 30. That ball was thrown so hard, the defense never had a chance to make a play. In fact, I doubt they even saw it after it left his hand. First Ball on their own 30. Ball on the 30-yard line. Run, yeah. go. I can do it, baby. The Browns come out in a 4-3. Right, let's go. Let us get you. the counter play. Back breaking free. Peterson is there on the stop at the 44-yard line. He adds that big run to his total, and the defense has been having a very difficult time bringing him down. First and ten. Ball on the 44-yard line. The Browns line up in a 4-3. Dead ball. Let's start on the offense. Number 82. Branch moved a little early there. Yeah, the rule for the offensive line is once you put your hand down, you can't move until the ball snaps. So now it's first and 15 after the penalty. Cleveland looks like they're playing the pass as they're lined up in the dive. Going in the air on first down. It's the receiver on the screen. Wynn picks up about six after that catch. Ball on their own 45. Ball on the 45 yard line. The Browns line up in a 4-3. Gets the pass off. And 
it's complete. Number 47 is there for the tackle at the 50-yard line. Dotson right completes the pass five for a five-yard gain on, on second down. Third ball on the 50. Ball on the 50-yard line. From the gun, Branch goes in motion. Throwing. Peterson is there on the stop at the 34-yard line. That's three times on this drive they've been able to pick up a first down. Yeah, and the thing is, they'll be doing more than just picking up first downs if this success continues. They're going to be picking up some points. Ball on the 34-yard line. The Browns come out in a nickel package. Let's go, let's go! He hands it off. Number 51 comes up to make the play. At the 34. Good play by the linebacker to get into the backfield and stop the play for no gain. I'll tell you, that comes from watching a lot of film and knowing the tendencies of the opponent. That was a heck of a play. Ball on the 34-yard line. Do so, do so! Watch the snap down! Cleveland comes out in a 4-3. Closing in, takes the throw. The big man gets in there for a big sack. He's got a great combination of size and move. He won't be winning any races, but he's good at getting after the quarterback. And let me tell you, you never want him to be the guy falling on top of you. After the sack, they'll be looking at third and long here. They'll go from the I formation. Hand it off to the back. Keeps his feet moving. Swan stops him short of the marker. Fourth down upcoming, but they're in position to add to their lead. Yeah, and that's what they wanted to do. Control the ball and the clock while getting into position to add at least three points. His last field goal attempt was from beyond 50 yards, and he nailed it. It's good. The Ravens pour it on with another score. McBride looks like he's just about ready to kick this one off. Harrison, back to return. This one is handled by Harrison. It sure doesn't look like they're going to be able to come back in this one. But it's an issue of pride. They want to prove that they're better than they've played so far. It's first and ten. First and ten. Baltimore comes out in their nickel package. A little misdirection. That breaks free. Wilcox is there on the stop at the 30-yard line. So let's take a look at how this back compares to the opposition. job of feeling the rush. You always want to keep your eyes downfield. You have to know or feel when that rush is getting to you. You have to have a time clock in your head so you can get the pass off just a beat earlier. Second now in second and long oh, after the second. Baltimore comes out in their nickel pack. Gets rid of it. Broken up. That short pass is incomplete. It'll be third down now. The offense has had trouble moving the sticks on third down so far. Under pressure, he was drilled as he threw. Taking shots like that will really affect his rhythm with his receiver. Yeah. 
Salam will come in now to punt it away. Win looks like he's ready for the return. Fair catch called for. Flags are down, and this one appears to be on the offense. Holding on the receiving team, number 33. Penalties and takeaways can really kill a team. Usually the team with the fewest mistakes out there will win the game. First and ten. Ball on the 31-yard line. Cleveland comes out in a 4-3. They give it to the halfback. Morris comes up to make the play. Gain of nine on the play. Second and one. Ball on the 40-yard line. We turn it up. Hey, let's get one piece. All on us, y'all. Hey, score, score, score. Hey, watch that screen. Oh, go, dude. Do it, bring it up, bring it up. We're talking about bring it. Bring it up, baby. Let's go now. Let's go. Not today. Keep moving. Bring it up now. Hey, watch the screen. Tucks it away. Watson is there for the table at the 41. And now our viewers can see how successful each team's main running threat has been today. Two-minute warning coming up. Two minutes to go. Ball on the 41-yard line. Here we come. Grant, the motion man. They'll bring the blitz. Caught by the receiver on the screen. Watson created problems in the backfield on that play. Watch this. He stands them up and he puts them right down. That's stopping in your tracks right there. He's there for the tackle at the 48. Picked up nine on the play. Ball on their own 48. Ball on the 48 yard line. Here we go. Cleveland using three linebackers. Tucks it away. Watson stops him short of the marker. Well, that didn't cut it. Now they're looking at fourth down. And they made the decision to just keep it on the ground. Take time off the clock, not force anything. This is a luxury of being ahead. McBriar is ready to punt this one away. Harrison lines up deep for the punt return. He signals for a fair catch. This is one of those situations where they're playing for respect. The game really hasn't gone the way they thought it would, but they have a lot of pride in their team. And I'd expect to see them keep fighting till that final whistle. First and ten. Ball on the eight yard line. Right, Let's turn it up, D. Stay close now. Throws it. Drops the interception. Wesley was the one they were trying to get the ball to. Number 27 was there on the coverage. Second and ten. Ball on the eight yard line. Damn right. You gotta have it, Keep the throttle down. 
Gets rid of it. And he hits his target. Oh, he's there on the stop. They want to hurry it up here. The blitz is on. Rowan runs through the tackle. Wilcox comes up to make the play at the 40. They'll head right back to the line. The Browns call a timeout. They have one timeout remaining. Ball on their own 40. Ball on the 40 yard line. Blitz is coming with the throw. This one falls incomplete. No choice here, John. They just have to keep throwing. Yeah, they do. Running the ball isn't going to do a whole lot of good now. Second and ten. Ball on the 40 yard line. Watch the snap now. Don't make the play. Bring it up. Bring it up. Drops back. Pressure coming. Gets the pass off. Broken up. He has a great feel for defending the pass. And he always seems to be in great position to make a play in the ball. Cash was the intended receiver on that play. Third and ten. Ball a 40 yard line. From the gun. Price, the motion man. Closing in. He won't get away. And in those situations where the rush is coming fast, you got to make a quick decision. Do I throw it away, try and hit my guy, or concede to the pressure? It's fourth down now, and with this deficit, I'm sure they'll be punting. Win gets set for the return as we take a look at his numbers. He's been on the sideline, loosening up, and yep, here he comes for the seventh time. From the 32-yard line, Win takes the punt to the 38. With the defense not having all of its timeouts, they'll probably come out and take a knee here on first down. He'll just take a knee. The That's final score the is Baltimore, the 30, is the 3. The Browns, 3. This is Al Michaels with John Madden saying goodbye for EA Sports.